In Ayurveda, it's really based off of that there's no one diet for everyone and there's not even one diet for you because everyone's different and we're also always changing. So just like what you ate in your 20s is gonna be different than what you ate in your 30s, 40s. What you eat when you're menstruating is different when you're not menstruating. So it's really based off of the doshas and assessing where you are right now. So let's say you're feeling more vata, more windy. What that really means is they have a lot of air accumulation in their system, gas, bloating, constipation. So what they need is something that's more grounding, more warming, and that's going to help build up their digestive fire. Because the reason that you're so bloated and airy is because you're not actually breaking down your foods. So someone like that would need more cooked foods, more spices, more root vegetables. In Ayurveda, we take on the energy of everything that we eat. So when we eat root vegetables, literally grown under the earth, we take on those grounding properties and that makes us feel more grounded in every aspect of our lives. Another thing with vata is it's a lot of movement even in the mind. So vata people tend to feel more anxious, more insomnia. So changing their diet, having the more root vegetables and grounded foods will also feel make them feel more grounded mentally. If someone's more pitta, they have a lot of fire in their system. So what that means is their digestive fire is burning too strong. So they may feel really acidic. They might feel like they're experiencing heartburn. It's literally heat in their body. If you're someone that gets hot all the time, you need the AC on at night, you have a lot of pitta in your system. So what you need to counterbalance that is more cooling foods, more coconut water and leafy greens and mint leaves and things like that. It doesn't have to be raw, it could still be cooked, but you want it to be really light. So think of foods that grow in the summertime. It's like, you know, little springy vegetables and um, berries and things like that. That's exactly what you need when you feel too hot. So it's really like looking at what nature provides us with at that season and most of the time it's like what our bodies need. Then lastly, there's kapha. So kapha is really grounding. What happens if you feel really grounded in your body is you gain weight easily because your body is taking everything that you put into it and it's holding onto it more than it should be, which is why you or you might have a friend that tends to just gain weight really easily. They just like look at someone else's fries and they're gaining weight. And it's because of that kapha imbalance. So what you need to juxtapose that, that grounding and heaviness is something that's more stimulating. So, um, different spices like turmeric and cayenne pepper. That's why, you know, drinking cayenne pepper lemonade was so popular for so long because the cayenne pepper literally speeds up your metabolism. So Ayurveda would say add tons of spices to your food, make sure it's light, not too heavy. You don't want any dairy. You don't want lots of carby things. So that's gonna promote the sweetness and the heaviness that's in your body. So really it's looking at your body where, it, where it's at and eating the foods of the opposite quality so you can regain balance.